always gets funny. It always gets funny, and I just press the record button. Oh, is this a test now? I, no, we, why, why make it the test? Let's right, just, we'll just start it right there. Point at you, buddy. Point at me, and what am I supposed to do? Start the I, show. I, I, I thought we just did when you said it always gets funny. It's horribly off topic. <laughs> Featuring Steve. Chris. With special guest, Ryan. I was going to say Sting. <laughs> no, musical guest is Sting. Musical guest. Sting. <laughs> Wait, isn't there a... And here's your host. No. Also Sting. <laughs> how, do you, how do you do Sting? I, I, don't, I don't think I've heard Sting talk enough. Yeah, in Dune. In Dune? I don't He's think in I, Dune, right? I, I, I didn't see Dune. Oh. Um, just there's a little bit of my nerd cred floating away. Well, you know, you still have time to. Uh, I know fear is the mind taker. I was the mind killer. Taker. Taker. No, it's killer. Shaker. You are. You're right. <laughs> I, I, somebody I knew in the past was going to get that as a t- tattoo, or did. Uh huh. And oh, no, the wrong quote. No, 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 the right quote. Oh. <laughs> and so her friend was designing it, and then I. I grabbed the notebook that she was designing it, and I redesigned it on the same page that said, fart is the mind killer. <laughs> <laughs> fart is the nose killer. So, I mean, that can easily be the title. Fart is the fart mind is killer. Fart is the, is, the, is the nose killer or the mind killer? Mind killer. Fart, fart is, the, is mind the mind killer. killer. All right, well, and there I we shall go. Not making... fart. <laughs> uh, fart is the mind killer. Um... But you still have time. You still have time to watch Dune before you turn uh, before you turn forty. Is it available on streaming services? I, I do not know. I, you want me to look it up? No. People would certainly I, love to hear me typing at my my keyboard. Let's I, see. No, uh, no, you fucker, it... no. <laughs> um, I'll find out later. You'll find out later. Um, but but do you want to see it? I mean, is, is I it wouldn't a thing mind that... seeing it. Like, wh- I mean, have either of you seen it? No. Well, uh, yeah, Ryan... I've seen it. It was a while ago, but it uh, it's a David Lynch movie. Okay. David Lynch directed it. It's got Kyle McLaughlin from uh, Twin from, Peaks. Uh, from Showgirls. I, I do. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, if I ever meet. You think he's ever been introduced that way? <laughs> Aside from the Showgirls um, uh, press tour. Uh, if I, ever, I hope so. If I ever meet Chris Evans, I would like to say, hey, it's that guy from Not Another Teen Movie. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to know once and for all whether or not he is that guy from the Pirates of Penzance in 1995, but I have never... Don't uh, look it up. I No, I have, don't think I have any way of looking it up. Yeah, there's the no pi- computer in front of you. No, 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 no. He, the, so the Pirates of Penzance was a, was a well, it's a play, it's a musical. Oh, um, you see if he was like in, in, in Lincoln or whatever. It, yes. Lincoln so, Sudbury um, High School musical. Yeah. Well, so I had a friend who was dating... I, I Get right out of town. I had a friend who was dating a girl who Horny. Was, uh, was at um, this place in Carlisle, Concord, Heard somewhere right on the border there. Uh, and they apparently this was a place where uh, Evans, Chris Evans was at some point. Uh, that's what I've heard. Uh, and what I don't know is, was he there that summer that I went with my friend to see his girlfriend in the Pirates of Penzance? Because I have long since lost my program from that performance. I think uh, Chris Evans is younger than me. I believe that's true. Um, I think he's maybe one or two years younger. It sounds right. I think he might be an 80 baby. I oh, so then only one year old. Or is he like an 81? I don't 80 know. baby. 80 baby. <laughs> Come on down the chimney tonight. Oh. I'm just getting to the end of the song so I don't <laughs> sing anymore. <laughs> In the Pirates of Pans and... Okay, yeah, no. Um, It's hot in here, man. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> It's good, it's, good for the vocal cords, right? You don't you don't want cold dry. You want I've got I've got the I've got air. some whiskey. Ryan's got a beer. You have your yeah. your yeah, baby so you guys glass. are gonna, you guys are gonna get uh, hotter than than I am because because you you're imbibing the, uh, the the liquor. Which what is it? What is it that makes you hot when you uh, when you're drinking liquor as opposed to when someone else is drinking liquor? Because it's not it's not that it makes liquor, you hot. Goggles, it just makes but... you not feel as much. So when okay. it's cold mm-hmm. and you're drinking like liquor or beer or whatever, and you yeah. go outside in the cold, you don't feel the cold as much as you would have okay. if you were sober. Right. But mm. why then do you sweat more 
don't 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 you sweat more when you drink and it's hot? I think your body metabolizes. I'm sure I'll get this wrong, but it. All right, biologist. It, it doesn't just turn. It doesn't go from like alcohol to glucose or whatever. There's oh, an okay. intermediate step where it's like acetaldehyde or something like that, which is not good. <laughs> And which is what um, what's I think the Asian flush like a lot of people in East Asia don't have the enzyme to break oh, down the okay, acetaldehyde okay. mm-hmm. so it gets into their bloodstream and you and you you get flushed oh, because gosh. okay that your sounds, body's like I'm being poisoned that that does not it's sound not good, good. <laughs> oh my goodness yeah so yeah. you just turn into the, an old timey drunk from a uh, an old timey drunk right from the from the tatakis yep. I, <laughs> He does these impressions. I don't uh, know who you're doing an impression of. I don't know who I'm doing an impression of either. I'm just Fred kind Mertz. Of, <laughs> kind of making it up. You know some some you know things that the kids are really into. Fred been, Mertz. You know I've been waiting a whole month to make people not laugh. <laughs> well, you, you both of us were laughing. At that. <laughs> so I failed. Yeah, I, sorry, I Ben. You blew it. Um, I, why do I have, okay, right, so right before the show started, um... You had a candy bar. Uh, no. Well, no, that was about half an hour. Well, it was when you were the, on your way, right? I was on my way here. Mm. I, 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 I had a candy bar. Yes, no. The road bar. But right before I, we started, I, I typed the following word into my, my search engine, and I can't remember why, uh, Zare. As in Zare's department store. Yes, uh, that is uh, that was one of my many uh, T-shirt birthday presents that I've gotten uh, mm. over the course of the of this month, mm-hmm. uh, and one of them is is, is a T-shirt that's a Zare's. It's a, it was a department store. Um, I think it closed in the mid '90s. Uh, according to Wikipedia, it um, was closed in 1990. Oh, 1990 even. 1990 even. I remember going there. <laughs> that be the t- no, I like to the- call I know, that I know. early nineties, nineteen ninety even. Yeah, um, uh, I remember going there with my mother in mm-hmm. in uh, it, when I was when I was a youth. So I guess yeah, that's pre. Well, I have a memory pre nineteen ninety. That's oh good. my god, mm. that's pretty good. Um, did the uh, Zares T shirt have the uh, the little asterisk? Next yeah, it's, it. it's okay. I can show it to you after. after well, I mean, show. I've got. Or it, I can go I... get it right now no, out of the laundry. No, no, thing. no, no. You don't have their to logo was just an asterisk. Yeah, it's an asterisk, and it looks. So it was like, like a. Was, was it accused of cheating? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so, according to uh, Wikipedia, uh, Zare, no apostrophe s, yes, Zare uh, was a chain of discount stores that operated in the eastern half of the United States from 1956 to 1990. Fucking Walmart. Mm. The company's headquarters was in Framingham, Massachusetts. In Framingham. Framingham. It was in Framingham, Massachusetts. <laughs> Framingham, Massachusetts. In October 1988, Zare's parent company. Uh, now, why is you the apostrophe there? Zare Senior. Zare's the parent. Zare's parent company. It's Wikipedia, Chris. Zare, They're not going to pay attention to grammar. Well, some people are you very. Do. Some wik. Well, I know on Reddit they're redditors. On Wikipedia, are they like wick wickers? Um, Wiki- I think it's the fucking men. nerds. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not the bees. Oh wait, no, that'll give flashbacks to Becky. No. Oh, no. So in uh, October '88, uh, Zares was sold to the Ames Department Store chain, uh, and in 1989, June, uh, Zare merged with one of its subsidiaries, the TJX Company's oh. parent company of TJ Maxx. Holy shit! Shit. And Marshalls. So, and Home Goods. Right. So it says a number of stores retained the Zare name until 1990, by which time all stores were either closed or converted into Ames stores. And then Ames subsequently yeah. went out of business. Wow. Yeah. The TJX companies, which owns Marshalls, Home Goods, and Sierra, is still in operation. What's Sierra? As of 2018. Is that like their, their dildo line? Let's see. I think it's uh, Spanish Sierra. for mountain range. <laughs> Is oh, an thank you. <laughs> You're is an online brick and mortar and catalog retailer of off price merchandise operated by the TJX companies. Um, the Cheyenne, Wyoming based company offers products in categories such as outdoor recreation, fitness, and adventure gear and apparel, along with footwear. What clothing. are we talking about now? Sierra. 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 Yeah, it's got. It, an, it it's still got exists. A, it's 
uh, well, it, it's using the present tense. Okay. So, so it's not like the Sierra uh, company that made software. I do not oh. believe so. No, no, it's not. Like, uh, I think they made King's Quest and, yeah. and Space yeah. Quest. No, make no. The point and click games. Yeah, the point and yeah. click adventure games. So let me ask this. Where was the Zares that you and your mom went I to? I think it was in Nashville. Just Zare. Zare. Where was the Zare? It was the Zare. Where was the Zare? I think it was in... Was it an air? I think it was... No, it was not. <laughs> the Zare wasn't an air, kid. Yeah! Remember when we went to that fucking... Did we go to air? Gross. <laughs> Take that air. Uh, that's like en- the the entering signs. Um, when I when I was living there for <laughs> for that year. Oh yeah. And we went to the open air festival. <laughs> oh yeah. Did, Did we, we just end up? I, yes, and we ended up at Carlin's, of right? Course, yes, because that's yeah. where you end up when you go to mm-hmm. downtown air. Yeah. And the but like the band outside was playing uh, Money for Nothing. Oh yeah, oh. and they they and dropped the they real dropped, they the real other the, F word. Uh, the other F word there. Whoa. Yeah. Interesting. In I mean, like, it was air. Like, it's air. I don't. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's nobody that's nobody. Out. There's nobody, nobody that's out in in the open air. And no, nobody batted an eyelash in open air. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Least of all somebody who had to apply those eyelashes because air just doesn't doesn't like that place. Who? Like those, who? What? What? Um. So that's why Zare Z- Zare was was in my uh my my browser. Okay, I get it. So yeah, like I think to add to my collection, I don't think I, I don't know if I have any more. There's still one more T-shirt I need to open. Mm. But uh, do you have a Leechmere? I I, I would <laughs> like I wouldn't mind Leechmere. I want Caldor. Ooh. Uh, I want a Purity Supreme shirt. Okay, you both gotta, of those gotta, would give me a bit of bit of flash. A little bit. Well, of yeah, because you worked at Purity, and my mother worked, worked at, at Caldor. Caldor yeah. My my childhood was ruined by Caldor. Mm. Why? Because they closed? No, because my mother happened to be a very capable assistant manager who was then, whenever a store was in trouble, my mother was reassigned to that store to whip it into shape. No, you, what you should have said was, whenever a store's in trouble, she's there on the double. Caldor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sh- I sh- I sh- she's have. the Caldor gang. <laughs> what about Bradley's? You yeah, Bradley's. Bradley's. yeah, Bradley's, Bradley's is Bradley's, another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Child yeah. World? Sure. All the stores that were in Chelsea. Now I gotta look at it. I, like, right. I can't remember what the Child World logo looked like. I, that, that, it wasn't uh, anything... Currently Kohl's and Petco. <laughs> yeah, over by your house. Yeah. Um, you got Children's World Learning Center. No, motherfuckers. I want Child World. Um, okay, yeah. So it's... Uh, it's like the same... It's the fucking same font as Office Max. It's oh pretty, yeah, it's it is. Close. That's the Office Max <laughs> font, and it's red. It's a red like. Yeah, so maybe Child oh, World is one like of the ones. It's like Courier or something. <laughs> At least Bradley's had its, its own like interesting font. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Bradley's was a a nice thick, yeah, thick yeah, font. Bradley's. Fucking. Yeah. Oh god, a nice. Thick. When you want a department you know, store like name, a nice thick font. You need a nice thick. Font. Yeah. Check that shit yeah, out. Hell Bradley's yeah. Bradley's was doing the fucking. Okay, was that? Did That's they some, have that fucking arrow? Before I can't FedEx? see what the fuck. Ooh. You're oh, yeah. So no, all right, hold on. I gotta. I gotta guess. What was that? What was that? Do you want me to turn? Nifty. I. I. I love a thick font. Uh, yeah. Uh, Put more C's um, in there. Um. Okay. Oh wow. So, yeah. so Bradley's like uh, logo used from 1964 up until their closure included an arrow in the B. Right. So the the I don't know. What right in the B. So all the discounts right to the left to the B. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is pointing. Backwards. Yeah, it's it pointing is. to the left. <laughs> so if you're reading left to right, yeah, the direction it's trying to take you in is back. Yeah, go back. Don't go into Bradley's. <laughs> oh, they were owned by Stop and Shop from 1961 to 1992. I did not know that. And then they closed. No, they fucking stayed, Stop and Shop. They still they stayed open until 2001. Wow. Damn Bradley's. Is that what right. the where how long the Bradley's in Chelmsford was open? Uh no, no. That was um I don't it, uh, well, that's not going to be in the uh That was vacant for a while. <laughs> yeah, well wall. we we joked and called the uh the, the that whole strip the Chelmsford vacant building. Like it just it there was nothing there. Well, I mean, it's. I think the Bill Ricca Mall, and here we are getting local for you. Getting real getting local. Real local. The Bill Ricca Mall, I think, has finally stepped out of that fucking beast of not having anything in it. Or I don't know. Uh, well, there is a Kmart there. Yes, there's a Kmart. There's a there's a Burlington Coat Factory. 
I would. Oh, I mean, boy. what 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 constitutes stepping out of that 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 space? Because when you, you sti- babe stepping out, <laughs> because when you still have a Kmart. In your in your mall, I think you have hey, not fully stepped. Acton out. still has a Kmart the, right next only, to that abandoned McDonald's. <laughs> that Kmart, my grand my Grammy took me to that Kmart. Back in, I know she you bought a belt there. I did buy a belt after there. I harangued oh, the you belt saga, yes. for for fucking forty five minutes about buying a belt. I, I went and listened to you that particular time. Cool. No, my, my Grammy took me there in and she died in eighty two. So this is like an early early memory. So before I was. Uh, before I was five, because she died at the beginning of 82, um, uh, she would take me to the, to that not then de- defunct McDonald's. It was there. It was open then. Um, was the Bolodrome there too? At that part, I don't remember. I was, I was four. I don't, I don't think I was bold. <clears throat> like, I really don't understand. That. It's the, the drome now? I don't understand how <laughs> that they stay in business. I, I'm assuming because they own the building. Yeah. Because if they oh, had yeah. to pay rent, they would never make enough money. Yeah, know. they're not open that often. Are yeah, they? it's yeah. like I'll I'll drive by there. Like, well, I'll order some, we'll, we'll order some food and I'll drive up the street and and go and I'll drive by it and it's a Saturday night and yeah. there's no one fucking there and I'm like, this is the night you want people to be bowling. Now, is do you think it's that they do you think they do any bowling in there or you think that's just a front? I mean, a front for what? <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to get something going. A front for like non-working pinball machines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes. Uh, let's see. Caldor. Um, oh, that's interesting. That's well, what's a, interesting about Caldor? Well, Chris? just I don't remember that logo. They have like a little. Uh, oh, we should just rename you Caldor Chris. <laughs> Caldor Clark. Caldor um, Chris Clark. Uh, let's see. That would be my wrestling name, right? You know, walking in, yeah, got, oh, get, flexing, flexing with the your, muscles. With your beefy arms. What, what Triple C. Which, okay, so this this brings me. At least it's not triple K. <laughs> oh god. Well, I was thinking tri- Triple H is a wrestler. And I was thinking. And you, you were know, thinking the, the Ku Klux Klan. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um. So. <laughs> so, what I want to know is if you, like me, uh, played uh, WrestleMania 2000 on the um, on what 2000 on the Nintendo 64 or anything around there, and maybe you can still even do this today. You could create your own wrestler, and you could create your own finishing moves. So, I, if I, you were a Triple C or Triple S, um, uh, you know, what would your what would your finishing move be? What would it be called? And then what would it actually, you know... I've proved on many times on this show that I'm not very creative on the spot. (laughs) (laughs) Is that that why our... The lack of creativity slammer! (laughs) (laughs) And would that be a a, a traditional body slam? Would there be any... uh, any, any No, uh, I'm dropping an elbow or something in there. See, you say that and I just imagine you just stand there, arms at your side, and just sort of fall forward. (laughs) Yeah, I mean... (laughs) Into your opponent. Okay, sure. <laughs> while the opponent is standing or while they're Doing on the one of those yeah, no, wrestling days. Them, do a trust fall into them. <laughs> and hope that they catch me. <laughs> Maybe you do like a... I and then embrace them ever so tender. <laughs> oh. Isn't it... Um, what the fuck is it? Uh, that guy from Massachusetts. Um, I'm who, in love with Massachusetts. No, he's a wrestler dude from John Massachusetts. John Cena. Cena, right? He does Old something Johnny with his Dinner. hands, right? And you could he does something with his hands like you can't see me or something like that like this. Oh the the, the the hand over face. Hand over face. Yeah. So Steve, before he does the uh what the not creative slam. Now you see me too. <laughs> Electric boogaloo. No <laughs> Dan Harmon went on a very long rant about that fucking movie. About how the it shouldn't have been called or at least there should have it should have been Now You See Me Too Colin Now You Don't. <laughs> Mm, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But it wasn't. It was just now you see me too, and he—I I forget how long he—he <laughs> he railed against that. But well, you know, he's Dan Harmon. He can rail against it. He's—he's—he's he's, he's, you know all he created. Uh, he created all the great shows, delicious shows like Harmon Quest coming I, out in like a week or two. I think. So my brother-in-law, when we were when we, part of the reason we've been on uh, such a long vacation is I went I went uh, away with one part of my family, came back for a week. And then I went away uh, camping with my wife's side of the family and my brother-in-law. Wait, you didn't say it right. I didn't? 
my wife my wife um <laughs> my my uh my brother-in-law um made me realize uh even more than you have made me realize or anyone else has made me realize that i really need to rock need to watch need to watch uh, season Rip- four of community no uh, <laughs> the good wait, one wait maybe i'm even thinking of the wrong person rick and morty is that him? yeah yeah that's okay. the same guy yeah so, richard uh, morton I gotta, I gotta think of, I gotta watch some, some Rick and Morty. Where do you find that? Is that on it's the on, Hulu? It's on the Hulu. That okay. is, yeah, that's the problem I've had. People have been telling me, like, oh, you should watch Rick and Morty. It's like, yeah, I should. I, you know, but where do I don't have Hulu, so where do I watch it? Yeah. Where else do you watch it? Uh, CartoonNetwork.com. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. cable over here. Come on. Yeah. I, Come like, on. Can you? Can, You've can, hooked can, your computer up to the fucking TV before. Yeah. Could it could it just fall off the back of a truck somewhere in the vicinity of Ryan's house? Do you think that that's that's possible? What a cord? <laughs> <laughs> it's just flailing out of a truck. That's, it's, it's, it's an expression that I that that on podcasts I used to listen to. They would uh, to avoid talking about anything uh, untoward in terms of media acquisition. They would say, "Well, you know, maybe later on it'll fall off the back of a truck." Mm. Um, you know, as in they were going to uh, make make the thing appear uh, in a place that they're friends. I can Venmo you like five dollars so you can get a, a Hulu uh, subscription. Okay. For, All right, I would appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> I have the Hulu, so you know. You go over to Chris's house. That would fulfill it because when you were talking about brick and mortar stores, every Mm. time I hear brick and mortar, you think I think Rick and Morty, Mm. even though I don't know anything about the show. Do you think anybody's ever written a a fan fiction? You know, so yes, Rick and Morty is is if if something exists, Mm. someone's done a fanfic of it. It's Doc and Marty fanfic. Brick and mortar. Would be a fanfic of a fanfic because Ooh. Rick and Morty is fanfic of Back to well, the Future. Well, no, I right? like what was it? Uh, Justin Roiland was the one who created the, the like the adventures of of, uh, of Doc and Marty, mm-hmm. or, which they changed to Rick and Morty when they when they signed yeah. with uh, with Cartoon Network right. to avoid you know legal stuffs. I'm mm. pretty sure that was an offshoot of his House of Cosby's animated show, which I, was uh, that Bill Cosby made him cancel. <laughs> Well, he did. He sent him a cease and desist. Letter. Well, you know, now now America has sent Bill Cosby a cease yep. and desist. <laughs> they, it all they, came back around. It all came back around. <laughs> well, you see, mm. um. you shouldn't put a thousand Cosbys on the air because they'll be raping everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's fucking hot. allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Is it uh, allegedly still? I, I don't even know. Was he convicted? I, I, I think so. Is he in jail? Let's, let's see. Let's, let's find out. Uh, Bob Cosby. I, I um, like throwing that allegedly in there. Just in case Cosby's just like, well, let me just look at this some uh, horribly off topic. I mean, if anyone... They've been off for a month, so I wanted to hear what they have to say. He's, he's notoriously litigious, so... <laughs> I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he puts the correct amount of roofing. Not in the drink. most, uh, not the most flattering Wikipedia photo. No, there. no. He looks so. very. Is it a picture of him raping somebody? Uh, um. <laughs> no, uh, not unless it's happening off camera. This is uh, Cosby in 2006. He is uh, rather wrinkled, wearing a uh, pair of black sunglasses and a yellow, not quite polka dot tie, but uh, it's a yellow patterned. Tie. So he's holding up a microphone in a rather odd way. The year we started the show, mm. uh, my my roommate at the time, which I was at uh, on the outs with, <laughs> mm. um, oh yes, uh, he had gotten me tickets for my birthday mm. to go to see Bill Cosby. Oh boy, on my birthday, and I chose not to go. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the news came out shortly after that. Or Hannibal had, you know, started his, uh, yeah, his like, yeah, he's a fucking piece of shit, kind of. <laughs> that uh, you are very, very good. Yeah, uh, assault allegations uh, um, against him became more public after a stand-up routine by comedian Hannibal Burris mm-hmm. became viral in October 2014. Yeah, so like I, I, well, I mean, I wouldn't, I didn't well, dodge a bullet. I did, mean, I, I don't think he would have put anything in my drink. But did you not go because you heard about the allegations against Cosby? You were just like. I just I like it's weird. Motherfucker's like, old. No, I mean like 
he is the first stand up I had ever seen when I was a kid mm. mm-hmm. because it was something that was, you know, it wasn't dirty that my parents Yeah, it was family met. and family like relatable. Yeah. There's a lot of right. family stuff. Dad is great. Mm-hmm. Give, yeah, chocolate Give us cake. Chocolate cake. Yeah, that was the first thing I had ever fucking seen in stand up and I'm like, "Oh, wow." So it's 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 a bummer that he's a piece of shit. Mm. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I, I hadn't heard anything at that point, but mm. I just I think I was just like, "Eh." So to, I think I was just going through a thing at that point in time to clear up the uh, the allegedly uh, first trial in June 2017 ended in a mistrial, uh, but he was found guilty of three counts of aggravated indecent assault at retrial on April 26th, 2018, and on September 25th of 2018 was sentenced three to ten years in state prison and fined 25000 plus the cost of prosecution. 43000 So let's erase that allegedly. Dollars. All right. And we can just say... Getting Cosby for you. Mm. Oh, gosh. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, it's hot. Uh, hot, 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 hot. So... So, so just stop looking at the timer. <laughs> so, no, no, no. So, so, <laughs> hot. Um, at the top of the show, we... we, we botched the the opening because because the opening can't be the opening that it's always been and i just want to throw this in there because we're now not on clarkwoods.com we're on horriblyofftopic.com and it's a good thing you didn't do that horrible thing that you mm. do with your voice because leo is not back for at least another year and a half mm. <laughs> is that the update i i see things from them every once in a while but uh no they're they're they're, they're on a two oh, two year they're tour. On a two hour tour two year tour oh okay so um, yeah i think they've been gone for about six months at this point but who's were they, did they go that I mean they were here for your nuptials yes um, which was last not, October so right, that was so it's not that was quite almost a year, a year. Um, but it wasn't long after that that they went right no they they, they went this year okay so yeah six six months or so yeah um, but we have horriblyofftopic.com um, all the uh, the numbers are the same so it's like horriblyofftopic.com slash one two three so on and so forth. So okay, so don't worry about numbers if you yeah. were. I'm, no, I'm looking at Ryan because he I was, was. I, I was, saw. Was, I saw his brow. Oof, I heard numbers and I was like, <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, I heard no. I heard that things are going to be different. But the the thing that I can't quite figure out um, is so if you look at the thing in iTunes, what it, thing? If you look at the podcast on iTunes. Is it that um, horrible picture with like no no with me with like that Matt drew a dick <laughs> oh, nose <yeah>. on? <laughs> no, it, there's no pictures at all. It's just our logo. Okay. Um. Uh, but the numbers. So in iTunes, the numbers show up twice because I put the number in the title, and then iTunes also, also uses the number yeah. uh, that we've said is the number of the episode. But in any other podcast player, it doesn't show the number in sort of like where it's playing. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, do I want to just, uh, you know, go for iTunes first and just, you know, only put the, you know, not put the number in the title. iTunes first, America first, whatever. Yeah. Well, they're all over. Apple podcasts. It's Apple I'm pod- I was going to say. I'm, I'm so. sorry. I really messed that up. Um, but that's, that's news. Um, <laughs> and, and while, while we're, while we're, while we're doing news, which is of course boring, um, uh, I, I'll, I'll throw out there that, that, uh, my, my very first audiobook uh, is out now. What? Whoa. I, so I submitted it like, uh, I, I pressed all the buttons that said, Hey, go ahead and put it on sale about a month ago. Uh, and I was expecting that I would get a, um, a notice saying, Hey, it's available. And, uh, I happened upon, uh, Amazon the other day, and lo and behold, the Audible version was there. And I said, "Well, wait a minute. They never told me that." And went to another site, and it was there. Went to another site, and it was there. So, Have people been buying it? I don't know the the reports. <laughs> well, the reports are delayed from that. Uh, I think they basically do it like once a month, sort of an aggregate. Because I used a company to push it out to all of the various. Places you can buy audiobooks instead of doing that on my own, because doing that on my own is on uh, my own. A, bit of a pain in the ass. But it's only seven bucks. <laughs> Once so. again. Here's your ad for the day. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, now that all that boring shit is out of the way, like me promoting things that I really care about. Um, I want to do karaoke. Did so you record it? Or I did, did you not. Get... No, I, I hired... Uh, Listen, it's me, Chris, reading my own book. This is how I'm going to talk the whole time. <laughs> no, I'm going to do dumb impressions. That's No, no, I'm you gonna, just I'm need gonna... to talk in the same voice you, so no one knows what character is speaking. <laughs> no, I hired a... Uh, um, Harry! Got <laughs> Have you heard the audiobook? Yes, version? I have. I actually the, like it. The Jim Dale version. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. His his Hermione is an acquired taste. I will. I will say. I mean, <laughs> are we talking like Oh Harry? Like he just yes. putting on it? Oh boy. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. boy. Yeah. Um, I don't know why none of the other female characters come across in that particular way. It's just Hermione, uh, and maybe maybe. He's sort of putting his Hermione out there as just a, like, everyone's going to be annoyed at this. And so all the other female characters will seem, eh, that's all right. To give them a pass, yeah. Hermione yeah. has to take the hit. <laughs> yes. When I when I was listening to The Wheel of Time, the mm. first the first book of The Wheel of Time, when I was on my way to visit Leo yes. uh, in Canada, mm-hmm. um, the it was funny. Like, they had two people reading it, and if, like, the... If the chapter was based on, or not based on, but like was more like male character centric, mm-hmm. it would be the the male speaker or okay. the male the male reader. Yep. And then there was a female uh, reader as well. And if like you know the the main character of that particular chapter was it was female, she would read it. Right. So I thought it was an interesting way to split mm. up the thousand page book and you know. In a good, and your thousand hour commute. In a good, well, yeah, it was, well, it wasn't that long. It was, it was, it was I, I think it took me 18. It was a while. Not, not, no, a no, 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 not that fucking long. I think it was 10 hours. Okay. Because, like, I think the, the problem was getting from, uh, like the border of Canada to Toronto, which isn't that far, but it mm. was just like the moment I got there, it was just fucking traffic. Right, right. And I mean, and it, we, we made no, uh, no, no way of, hiding that we got in a car accident when we were there mm. <laughs> and we made a friend we were then we were that's there. right i cool. remember that was that on the show yeah we that was on the show yeah um we were, we were we were we were pen pals for a very short amount of time when we realized writing letters is is <laughs> painstaking yeah it's a little bit and the amount of poach stitch i gotta put on a fucking letter to go to all the way to canada oh and jesus now we're just mm. facebook friends yeah, it's, yeah. it's much more appropriate yeah we were speaking of Stephanie and I got to talking about um, something else you've been bugging me about, which is which fruitcakes. Is, uh, no, no, no passports. Post office. You know, you go to the post office to get your passport, and and well, you get your photo for your passport at the post office, right? Am I popping my peas? <laughs> <laughs> your plosives are quite pleasant. Oh, good. This particular I, I thought you were going to be like <laughs> Plues Day Plues <laughs> Day um, I hired a professional audiobook uh, narrator um, to get your passport photo <laughs> no no I was trying to close the loop on the other thing okay um, <laughs> they're on task rabbit they'll uh, do whatever <laughs> alright we're going to take a picture of you real quick <laughs> While I'm recording this next chapter, um, no, uh, Aaron. I was gonna say Aaron Gray. That's not Aaron Gray. Uh, Aaron. Aaron. Oh my fucking god! Really? I mean, give 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 her a decent plug. All right. Let me see if I can uh, if I can if I can dig it up. Um, do 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 do. And what's going on with you, Ryan? A A one. Oh man, I'm also sweaty Van Halen over here. <clears throat> not me. Yeah. I, I'm nothing but cool cat. <laughs> Who's, cool. the, who's the other Van Halen? Uh, there's, Alex there's Van sweaty, Halen. Uh, oh, there's Alex. And, yes. Well, and Eddie. There was sweaty there's and sweaty Alex. Eddie and Alex. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael Anthony. <laughs> yeah, the, the young one. Now, which uh, Alex's kid is, it, is? Is Alex's kid sweaty? Is that was Alex? no, not Alex. Oh, Secret world kid. of Alex's kid. Uh, Wolfgang uh, Van Halen, who replaced poor Michael Anthony. <laughs> Um, oh. uh, Aaron Bateman. It, that's who read your book. That's who read my book, Aaron Bateman. Yeah. So if you would so like does to, she have a, like a Twitter you could plug? Um, she does, but I don't if remember. You what want it is. your audio book read, or you want your book that you wrote read? Well, yeah, she's like. Or if you want uh, your podcast uh, cra- transcribed and then read by one person. Well, hold on. Is it good? It's great. Yeah, okay. Well, there you go. Continue. Um, Aaron Bateman audio is that. Is, is, 
like let's let's uh, plug her right. Uh, that yeah. sounded wrong. <laughs> Uh, Let's edit, give her the appropriate edit, accolades. And we're back. Do it again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sound bites. I don't know. You can look for Aaron Bate. If you're ba- basically anybody who's actually looking to have an audio book done is probably going to do it through uh, Audible's um, uh, thing or Find Away Voices, which is where I went. Uh, and you just look for Aaron Bateman. I sh- oh, wait. She's Aaron underscore Bateman. Okay. Aaron. <gasps> On the Twitter? Aaron underscore, underscore Bateman. Speaking of Canada, from Canada. Wow. London, Ontario. Wow. Wow, Ontario. London, Ontario. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, she advertised that she had read my book about uh, four months before it was actually available. Because <laughs> it was done back in April. Um, or no, no, she started in April. So it was done a while back. But uh, it took me, you know, I got, I, got a, I got a few jobs. So it took me a little while uh, to get uh, buttons pushed. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Again, you don't want to be inappropriate, but... (laughs) I I don't think anything I said was inappropriate. I think you... I said something inappropriate and immediately realized it, and then I I addressed it. Okay. Do you want to say anything else about about almost turning 40? Oh. Because there's two things on here. One of them's an email... One of them is an email, and one of them is, is candy bars. Candy bars. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah. we hinted at and, it earlier. Yeah, so so there's... Well, and, and the fact that Ryan is visiting. Those are my three oh, what things. Do you want to plug your show tonight that no one can actually hear Not, about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you can flash back to the past, come to Improv Boston two nights ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be wearing a velvet jacket. Oh, this is very good. Do you have anything in the, in the, in the uh, near future? Uh... Yeah, probably. No, not, to, not tonight. <laughs> yeah, you can check out uh, if you got doing plugs early. If you like a not a not a kids show, but a, a family friendly show, you can check out All Access at Improv Boston uh, Saturdays at six o'clock. It's funny, but we don't swear and talk about dicks too much. So, <sighs> too or much. if you like dick talk, <laughs> you can come to Face Off at Improv Boston Saturdays at ten. I'm in that show sometimes. Plenty of dick talk in that one. Yeah. Late, just late just dick talk? Show. Mostly dick talk. Is yes. there any badge talk? Maybe like, you know. It d- depends on the audience. All right. It doesn't always go over well. People get a little weirded out by the badge talk like, sometimes. My mm. pussy. Well, I speak of speaking of people. No, I don't I don't want to say that. Well, speaking of people with Speaking of pussy. <laughs> well, no, no, uh now I don't know how to transition uh this. I well, you drank a, all your water. I'm very I, surprised. I, I drank all my water. Do you want some um, more? Uh, no, I'm. It's just really hot. Um, Speaking of wet, I got a. I can't do it now because it's about a, it's about a female acquaintance that I know, and now it's everything. Not, she's not one of your employees. Is no, she? but she <laughs> apparently started doing stuff at Improv Boston. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, Jackie Martell. Oh. She's on Face Off. Yeah, yeah oh, I know. Okay. Oh, yes, she comes down from. Uh, I knew her. From, yes, um, from New Hampshire. She just had her first show. She's excellent. Yeah. 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 She, oh, August very 11th, cool. Had a okay. Nice first show. Yeah. Awesome. So that was cool. That's a small world. Yeah. Well, you know, it's it's one of the premier improv theaters in the in greater Boston England, area. Yeah. So right. yeah, but I, I get the impression that she was trying to whether she was trying to get just get down there from a. From a physical standpoint, or from like an audition talent standpoint, I, she seemed very excited to finally, you know. Sort of I performed up the street once at uh, at the Middle East. Oh yeah, Ooh. I did. I did like five minutes of stand up at like fucking twelve thirty at night, <laughs> and no one laughed at anything I oh, fucking said. No. <laughs> well, was it? It was the open mic they yeah. have there. Yeah, that. Well, that was notorious <sighs> for everyone not paying attention to yeah. it. I think they, they don't do that there anymore. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> Darn. Yeah. That, that was a long-running open mic, too. Yeah. That was I, there for a long time. I'm, yeah. I'm glad I was one of the <laughs> one of the last remaining bastions of, like... <laughs> was it the upstairs or the downstairs? Upstairs. Upstairs, okay. Oh, you said But that. the the corner. Like yeah, the yeah. Restaurant. It was, like, not in the restaurant, well, in outside. the bar area. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Your back was to a window on the street so people could just kind of look in and see your ass trying to make people laugh <laughs> probably but really I should have just turned around and then I might have had better luck <laughs> mm. that is an interesting building and I didn't realize how interesting until I went to a 
show at the I don't think it's there anymore so I can think I can say the late great TT the Bears plays mm. um, that's where I was in a Guitar Hero tournament oh. when Guitar Hero first came out interesting and there was a man dressed like a dog having cigarettes with you <laughs> <laughs> My friend um, was was Guitar Hero with Harmonix then, or was no Harmonix? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I think I'm, I imagine or were they rock band. They were eventually rock band, but what I'm thinking no, they, is they yeah, this was Guitar off. Hero one. Okay. Oh, yes. okay. So they did Guitar Hero, then Guitar Hero got taken over by Activision or something, and then Harmonix went over and did its own thing with, with rock. They did rock. Okay. Yeah. So my friend because they're right there in Central Square. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't Sean it was, wasn't uh, uh, it wasn't like absurd for TT the Bears yeah. to have a Guitar Hero right. tournament. My friend Sean Baptiste was uh, the uh, Baptiste Switzer. Uh, Sean the Baptist. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he was on the um, sort of social marketing uh, team for. Uh, I, don't, I think it was just Rock Band. It, it, I don't. Maybe he came on like toward the tail end of Guitar Hero. But anyway, he that was, was the that like story. it was one of the I think the mo- more recent times I've seen uh, one of the guys I went to college with, Tim, mm. and like I won my first round, and he he kept on buying me beers. <laughs> to, to to hopefully make you lose the next no, round. No, <laughs> I won the next round, but then uh, he bought me more beers. And so like by the time I, I got to the finals uh, and I, I lost oh. because I was absurdly drunk at that point. <laughs> a little pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Did he beat you? Best. No, no. Oh. No, okay. okay. So I thought it wasn't this was a, a scheme. No, I wasn't he wasn't playing against me. He was just cheering me on with <laughs> alcohol. And making you lose. Yeah. No, um, it's fine. I still got a t-shirt out of it. And all that beer. Oh, the, yeah. The uh, TT the Bears thing... I was just renting it, though. ...was... Uh, I went to see this band, uh, Telekinesis, uh, which had a couple of albums. Uh, Some they spell it differently? No. They spell it Telekinesis. Okay. Or Telekinesis. I don't know. How would you pronounce it? Model? Telekinesis. Model? Telekinesis. Model? Model? <laughs> um, and they had a very quiet song that the dude was trying to play at TT the Bear's place, but just, is it up? I, I'm trying to think, is it upstairs or is it next door where next. the downstairs of the Middle East is? Mm. Because they were having some... Downstairs is actually, da- like it's... downstairs of the Middle East is actually downstairs in the basement. And and is, is and it it's right long. through the wall? TT the Bear's was probably right above. Above it, yeah. <gasps> Okay, that, got it. Yeah, yeah. So TT the Bears, he's trying to do this, and vibrating from below them is a mm. dance, some sort of dance party that's happening. It was probably like everybody dance. No, no. It was, I feel like it was darker and gothier than that. But clap your hands, clap your hands. I need to do karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Are you doing it before you turn forty? You got any? Uh, got anything lined up? I don't know. Do they do it at uh, in Joy Asia tonight? <laughs> I do. At the Joy, Joy Asia. Asia. <laughs> is that uh, wait when what day of the week uh is your birthday uh it's tuesday tuesday, tuesday. Right. so you've got either tonight sunday night or monday night to do it i am ta- i have taken this this coming week off so okay. i'm like it's, it's so you ooh, can find some birthday. random place that does karaoke in the middle I, of the I day. could do i could do karaoke several nights in a row okay i could just go on the karaoke map like this yeah or this karaoke Cause, cause, website that like seems to have not been updated since like <laughs> 2005 yeah mm. but and, well, and you, then you know, test the, test those waters to see if the if it's still accurate. Your karaoke or if those bars career still exist. Is all downhill after forty. That's what I hear. Really? No. Is that why those you, vocal you, cords harden up? Is that why you can't, you, your you, range decreases? Although you did good at, at the at the after I, party I did at the right. wedding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it, it was it was a uh, I don't know what's that like a uh, not a too easy. It, it was a layup. To use a sports metaphor. It's well, like, I mean, it was perfect because... <laughs> because you you tease me about about that song all the time. And, I, you know, so I begin and I sing, you know, the young teacher, the subject of schoolgirl fantasy. And you're just like, ah. He wants you so, so badly. badly. This is what Sting sounds like. You know, musical guest. <laughs> No, it, it, it did you up... did you do it in the Sting falsetto um, or did you drop it down an octave or two? I had to drop two? it down. Don't stand. Because because even because yeah. even to do the don't stand at like the yeah if I'm gonna do the don't stand I really have to drop down the rest of it just don't to stand. yeah I mean I got an all right falsetto but it's uh, you know. just a little bit more. So so <laughs> we we let we so Ryan plugged uh, what what can't. So now we should go back to you turning 40 and candy bars. Oh, no, no, no. And then and, and, and the, 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 the email. We got an email. 
And the email, I gotta say, the, uh. the, <laughs> the email, because of the email, we are we are passing up a very what I thought was a very good opportunity because originally we had this notion that if we didn't get an email, we were gonna do a. No, it was not a good notion, no, Chris. No, 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 but let me. It, this good notion would have been a great notion today, and let me tell you why. Because it's so, hot. No, no. Hot. So our. <laughs> Our original notion was that we were going to do a portion of the show, not a whole show, a portion of the show where I did it in the voice of Mickey Mouse and you did it in the voice of Donald Duck. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine if we hadn't gotten an email, we could have gotten Ryan in on the act as Goofy. You want some Goof Troop? We, we could have. We Gorge. Could have, <laughs> goop, goop Troop Gloop Larp. <laughs> We could have had the, the the holy trinity of the Disney cartoon universe. I mean, it's your podcast, and, you know, and, but you do what you want. No, no, no. We, the, the email came in, but so the this, email came in. So your you know, dreams have been dashed. <laughs> you did get that gorsh. Ooh, ooh, fuck my ass. <laughs> Is that that's on the late show? Yeah. <laughs> Do you the, think, the goof you, shoot. <laughs> do you think Goofy ever took it in the butt? I, I mean, I think, I think uh, like, you don't have to get crass, Chris. I think, <laughs> no, let's let's hash this out. Um, <laughs> you don't. Have so to is Goofy? Is Goofy portrayed to be? Yeah, he. I mean, does he have like any any love interests ever? No, but like does in Goof he, Troop, like according to my children, he has a son. He has a biological son. Right. Yes. And so what happened to his my, wife? I don't know. Like. They might watched. not be married. I don't. That's true. She might. She, she might have left him. Uh, she they, might have left the. Yeah. the or the was Max it super song. like like One Piece slash any other Disney property? Uh, dead mom. Dead mom. Just yeah. dead moms, as far as the eye can see. What is that line from uh, the second Wreck It Ralph? We don't have any mother. I don't have a mom. Neither do we. Have you seen that? <laughs> Uh, anyway, no, but I believe it because um, no one has moms yeah. in those movies. <laughs> that that particular scene, uh, anyway, the record Ralph uh, Ralph breaks the internet. I cannot believe that that scene got past the. It wouldn't have gotten past the Disney of like fifteen or twenty years ago. So it like really takes the piss out of. They really take the piss out of themselves. Mm. I mean, somebody else could <laughs> do it way better, but for it being a Disney movie, they they. Uh, what, what's that in your mouth there? Um, Besides <laughs> Disney dick? <laughs> um, at any rate, my kids believe that Goofy's love interest was uh, Clarabelle the cow, mm. who you don't really see in many modern cartoons, but if you go far enough back, mm. there is a cow. Is uh, Clarabelle uh, sort of... An like a, hu a dog, a, a human. Well, but he's human sentient, right? Like, he's yeah, not a dog like Pluto. Pluto. Right. Is Clarabelle? Clarabelle is human sent. Like, okay. So are they like little... mink? Uh, what? They're... So it's whoever's listening that knows One Piece stuff <laughs> would be drinking. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think if any, if he got together with anybody, it would have been with Clarabelle. That would make his son a dog cow hybrid. Yes. Okay. He doesn't look that way, but I suppose no. the dog genes might be dominant. Right. And he's expressing those. Right. Outwardly, he like I, there may be udders underneath I, his clothes. I'm assuming. <laughs> no. Does he get? Does he's he take a, he, his shirt off in the movie? He's a boy. Mm. Okay, so he might have might but have horns. Remember, he, but remember, all of these are are sort of animal human hybrids. Yeah, and so, we never see his dick, so we don't know that. So, right, so we just yeah. need to see what was what, Max? Was Max. Max. Okay. Yeah. We need to see Max's dick. Max's dick. Google Max's dick right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Hold on. Let's see. Don't do it on my watch. Max's uh, dick goofy. <laughs> oh well, I, I don't. I'm not connected. I'm sure it's out there. Max's make your make your phone a hotspot and then oh, well, look I for can, it that way. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. no. Oh, wait. My phone is on your Wi-Fi, so i got to turn my Wi-Fi off. No, no, um, Chris. I'm fucking kidding. Okay, like, you can right, look up, like, go. Goof Troop. Yeah, porn. you're not going uh, to jail. It's not Australia. Let's see, yeah. let's see, let's see private. Uh, so my kids don't see this show up anywhere. Um, Max, Do they see your, like, search history? Well, you know, so my YouTube login is on the TV and on uh, the, the, the Google. Do you, do you occasionally, like, I need to watch some bouncing boobs on YouTube, and then it's like, oh, Dad, you screwed up our algorithm. All it is is tits. <laughs> We're over here trying to see Max's dick. Let's go. Oh, oh okay. Wait, hold on. There's what? a there's a 
fucking article about this. Okay. <laughs> about Max's dick? Or about... Um, no, about Max's mom. I, okay. I, I, I figured I'd go the... Uh, the, Who, the go to whomaxmom.com. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, Max's mother was introduced alongside Max Jr. in the 1950s, starting with the episode where Jr. is born and brought home from the hospital. In many of these animated shorts, Goofy's name is changed to George Geef. George is an alternate version of Goofy. Ew! Since these animations were often meant as satire on everyday life more than the usual silliness with Mickey and Donald. For example, the episode where Junior slash Max is born, Fathers Are People, 1951, poked fun at how much your life changes after having a child. So um, this was when? 1951. Uh, 1951. Okay, so, so Max, by the time Goof Troop came out, Max is actually in his 40s? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, sliding time scale. Okay. Like, I, I, was, I was having this conversation with, uh, with my wife like, and my brother-in-law while... Uh, ally. You were talking about Goof Troop? No, no, sliding timescales. I was talking about the, the Marvel Universe and how in the... Because uh, of course I was. Um, how in the, the comics... What's that? What's that in your mouth, Chris? <laughs> it's, it's, it's Max Goof's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Is his last name Goof? <laughs> No, so in the in and Max the, is short for maximum. <laughs> maximum <laughs> goof. <laughs> maximum Richard Goof. So uh, maximum max. sploof in there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, in the the Marvel comics, uh, I don't know what the exact number is, but it's something like the entirety of everything that's happened over the the fifty to sixty years of Marvel comics has happened in a twelve year period. So. At any point in time, it's only been 12 or 13 years since Peter Parker became Spider-Man, since the Fantastic Four came out, uh, which of course causes problems when you consider that Magneto is supposed to be a Holocaust survivor and that the Punisher is supposed to be a Vietnam War vet. Mm. Um, and so we were talking about how, well, in the Netflix uh, Marvel series, they solved that by making the Punisher a uh, Afghan war vet. But how do you solve that for Magneto? And I was like, I, you know. I so, know. what do you think about uh, the blanket called the Afghan? <laughs> I do often wonder what, what, uh, what, <clears throat> what, what, where that came from, and if it's racist. Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is, <laughs> but in in that way, well, I guess China. Let's close up the old plug bag. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, tell us about candy bars. Um, you were you were the one who like I haven't eaten a candy bar. Uh, I know, but you said put. It's down been like Steve. two years since I've eaten a candy. Talking bar. about candy bars, you said put. Well, it you on ate the a candy bar on the way here. Yeah, that's not that out of the ordinary. I would like to hear about the candy bar experience. I, it's almost Halloween, yeah. according to grocery stores and fucking Target and Disney. Oh, um, sorry, that was, that was Max's that. dick in my Candy mouth. Bar. I wanted to... <laughs> Candy bars. Candy um, bars. Yeah, no, Disney's um, uh, ha- Halloween party starts uh, this, started this month. I don't... What, Sounds spooky. Don't, stop talking about Disney. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you were just saying that Halloween is right around the corner. That's, that's why I brought it up. And it's also um, where fudge is made. Lemonade. All right, so uh, it was a twi- it was one of the Twix uh, four packs. Does that count as a candy bar, or does it count as four candy bars? Wait, 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 wait. Twix four pack? Yeah, you know how you usually get the a a a, a um, canonical Twix is two Twix bars in a uh, gold one gold. left Twix and one right Twix. Mm-hmm. But they've their marketing right now is super cool. Left and right. Where you can put two left Twixes together, two right Twixes. I thought you Because the country that. is so divided. Oh, oh, I did I did not see what they did there. Ugh. What we need is a multi-party system like a Twix four pack <laughs> so that we have coalition government and more people have more choice and more reason to get out and we vote. Have, we, we need rank, rank choice <laughs> Twixes. <laughs> there we go. Boom. <laughs> um, uh, I learned about uh, what rank choice uh, voting can be used for and can't be used for because, of course, all my in-laws are from Maine. So I, uh, I learned oh, all right. about that. This, uh, this Apparently, it cannot be used in uh, national elections. It can only use local yeah, elections. And, and in primaries. So. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, it like... I, I listened to, a, I think it was maybe Radio Lab, maybe mm. This American Life. Well, no, it wouldn't be This American Life because it was about Ireland. That's mm. not about American life, so it shouldn't have been. 
So yeah. it's hopefully it was but, Radio Lab. But, but you know, this American Life was founded by Ire Land Glass. <laughs> <laughs> also known as Waterford Crystal. <laughs> um, all right. So what? What about Ireland? Uh, they they do rank choice, oh, rank voting. choice voting. Okay. So, no, that's the that's that's the Republic of Ireland. The or? Republic of Ireland. Mm, okay, interesting. Does that shit, and they don't have the the uh, the current state of bullshit that we no. do here in our country. No, or that they have in the in the neighboring uh, United Kingdom. Right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, so it was it was it was a four pack of Twix, um, and it was. So you ate all four. I ate all four. Damn. What's wrong with that? That's, I don't know. That's like it's just like I had a four pack of Reese's and I ate all all four of them. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, just, I, I would eat all four. I, I would eat all four. I, 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 I can't like, resist Reese's. That's I am just low carb life, so it's just I, like I, 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 I'm like it just that. it's absurd to me to to, to eat like uh, an entire week's worth of carbs in, <laughs> in one drive over to my house. <laughs> well, it takes a lot of effort to drive over yeah. here. You it? remember gotta, what it gotta, does gotta to your through. brain? Yeah, I know sugar. Sugar does bad things. Mm, a lot of bad. Well, you know, I met with my doctor uh, this week. Last week? No, not while I was camping. Anyway, I met with. Yeah, there's not just sugar, but you know, other drugs. We're, we're, we're working on my drugs. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a happier you thinking about paper because we're working on my drugs. Did you talk about any sort of weed? Uh, no weed, man. I think the weed would help. You think so? Yeah. You, I thought you have tried it once long ago, and no, it did I'm, not I, agree with you. Well, it, I I haven't in over ten years. Okay, that's why I said long ago. Yeah, but like it's not something. The only reason why I didn't continue mm. was because I quit smoking. Okay, cigarettes. Right, right. And I didn't want to be in the habit of smoking something mm. else. Yeah, you didn't want to be in the habit of putting something in your mouth. No, no, no. It's not necessarily that because I, I do mean, eat sucking f- on. Something. I do eat food. <laughs> right. Um, and Max Goof. And, uh, yeah, just Max Goof <laughs> into my mouth. <laughs> no, but like, I didn't want to get in the habit of smoking something else and then, like, perhaps being like, mm. oh, I'm smoking marijuana. Mm. I might as well just smoke tobacco yeah. and just get back on that fucking horse again. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you've known me. So, like you, you, you have I not don't, known me that I, that I smoked. I cigarettes. haven't experienced smoking Steve. No. Yeah. Like uh, 2008 yeah. was when I quit. Mm. Double S smoking Steve. Yeah. I, I can't, I've tried smoking stuff and doesn't matter what it is. It just makes me poop. I, I got to poop <laughs> real bad after smoking something. So it's just never been a pleasant experience. Oh, that does not sound good. Overall. So, it, okay, well, I just won't smoke anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, not that hard not to do. Yeah. I, I, well, my, my grandfather had uh, uh, lung cancer, so I, that, I put me off of it. Uh, yeah, so at but about like, the right time, like he. Mm-hmm. he but the, you don't right have to time. smoke it. There's like there's yeah. there's vapes and there's fucking, tasty gummy bears. Mm. Yeah, you can get candy because you, you can get candy. You ate you ate a lot of candy on the way here. So I, I did. You could, what's you could, to say that Twix isn't slipping me a little? Uh, well, uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's getting you high, but like in a different way. Yeah, but it's, I like I like the way alcohol is. I mean, marijuana is not a drug. Mm. No, no, it's not a gateway drug. It's a, it's a, a, a gateway to fucking carpentry. Was that Dennis Leary? Yeah. <laughs> At least he didn't do the voice. Right. Can we get to the email? Uh, yeah. Why don't why why don't we? I um, miss candy. I like don't don't get me wrong. I miss fucking a Reese's cup. Is the, a frozen <laughs> Reese's cup? You put cup. a you put a nice <laughs> hole right in the middle. <laughs> you miss fucking a Reese's. And you put your goof right in there. Yeah. <laughs> Slide it around. You get that peanut butter dick. Yeah, I mean, I just put it on the. Yeah, everybody's I happy. I just put it. I, I just put one on the edge of my dick on the end. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Hey. <laughs> I just put it on the end, and I edge for about like maybe an hour and a half until there's enough pre cum on there. Listeners at home, just imagine this with sort of a, you're looking at an orange background and there's some text and just about a quarter of a Reese's cup and you can kind sorry, of see not a Sorry, not sorry. There's some oh. strange glaze on it. Oh, God. I, I miss eating a Reese's peanut butter cup, mm. is you, what I meant to say. You're going to splurge out for Halloween? No. You know, like cheat? No, not even. Like not have, even for Halloween. Have a quarter of a Reese's. No, I, I mean Becky's made some uh, some keto friendly ones, and they're they're good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
they're they're like like everything like mm. it's like when someone's like oh this is really good frozen yogurt no ice cream yeah is fucking better like you yeah. know the 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 keto peanut butter cup it has like the fake sugar and whatever mm. else mm-hmm. it tastes fine does, it have, does peanut butter itself have it does have a little bit okay. but not enough okay. like yeah. like a like so we, the main things are the the sugar and the chocolate yeah yeah so you could Okay. That's, yeah. So I mean, we use darker chocolate right. typically, and then we use like a, a monk fruit or like a stevia to sweeten right. it. Well, at least it's it's good. At least that one of the major components is not a big problem. What I would imagine is harder, and I think you were saying this with the ice cream, is when like kind of every ingredient in a particular recipe is a problem, right? Because well, I mean, because a peanut butter cup where you can pretty much use peanut butter is. You know, you know, yeah, you got to do all the other things, but you're at least halfway there. Right. But ice cream where you, you can't use the milk. Well, no, we can use. Well, no, can we, use we use like so we, we, we have some ice cream in the freezer. Mm. We made some strawberry ice cream and just had to use. Um, uh, I think we were using the monk fruit sweetener. OK. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it tastes pretty much like it's just slightly off. Right. right. Strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Should I read the email? We, we're, yes, we, we, read we, the email. You we, have to read the nope, email. Nope, time's up. Yeah, no well, email. We, did just, we, we did just hit an hour. So, you know, we... Okay, so let's let's finish with let's, the email. Let's just continue to be hot for another let's five minutes. Let's finish, yeah. Um, finish in the Reese's. Uh, this uh, comes to us from listener Brian. Comes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Um, corn, just, just me. Yeah. Cornhall, uh, I don't know, and he did say Cornhall, so I went and looked this up and I could not find that spelling. I think he was but... perhaps being uh, being a goof, maybe. Oh, okay. Cornhall. A max, a max goof? A yeah, max goof. <laughs> uh, Cornhall is called Cornhole in the South and in the Midwest. I cannot speak for the Southwest or the Northwest. Also, Chris, coming from someone who has worked in academia for the past 10 years and also not having primarily used a Windows computer since 2012, probably, you missed the fine point that an Apple laptop running Mac OS is a PC. Yes, I, but I wasn't going to get... Uh, I, yes. Um, Apple has tried to make that point as well. It's a but personal every, computer, yes. Yeah, but everyone knows what you mean when mm. you say... Okay. It was their ad um, campaign with John Hodgman. <laughs> yes. I mean, and um, John Hodgman is the one that's more successful out of the two that, of those that, guys. That, that is true. Well, you know, unless you count uh, dressing up like a walrus. Oh, God. <laughs> and fac- I do. <laughs> and faculty need to stop whining. The university doesn't owe you a personal computer. It owes you a work computer. Um, just as a follow-up on that. Stop whining! I um, I did have a back and forth with my university, and I will be getting a uh, Windows computer to replace my desktop, com- my, my work computer. I will not be using it um, very mm-hmm. much, but it sounds as though they they're, like, they are intent that I uh, that I have a working computer. Uh, a working work them. computer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I'm still going to use my personal. See, computer. like I have to use my actual work computer because we need to be on a secure network and yeah. blah, 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 because yeah. of, you know, the industry that I work in. Hack so the I, mainframe. Yeah. 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 Shall we play a game? No. Um, uh, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> also, Steve, it is exceedingly rare to just make someone a tenured professor. I speak from a place of authority on this one. I'm doing it again for a second time. Oh, there, there's a little fucking. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's puff yourself up there and edge for an hour and a half until you get all the cum on your Reese's cup. <laughs> now you don't have to do that horrible show idea. And he's wow. right. We we don't have to. Uh, we don't have to be goofy or 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 Mickey or Donald. Um, it's 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 a real bummer. But uh, who gets to be oh. Sora? You can find the show notes for this episode at harpleyofftopic.com slash 244. Is that right? Is it? Let 244. Me look. 244. Yes. Uh, and we, like, we should have already hit our, our five-year anniversary. <laughs> but we didn't. Cause so we we're going to probably hit that sometime in the fall. When it's less hot in this room. And then maybe, mm. just maybe, mm. we can do a live show. For- <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I, 
would love that. That would be pretty. I'm fun. floating it out there. I, I live on the show. Live, on live, the show. live recorded on the show. If you want to check, if you want to cut this part out no, so no one knows I, about we, it. We can do that. I think, I, I think this is a thing that we, once a year we, we we do it live. We do it in, in front of people or just live so people can can no, listen li- to it. live like in, in a performance space. Oh, okay. If that is possible. Oh, I. I if I, we I, could I fucking call the this. Middle East corner. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, if you have any suggestions for where we should record live or anything to say about uh, anything we've said for now uh, and probably forever, hot at clarkwoods.com will still work. I'm going to work on a, a horribly off topic.com address. But for now, hot at clarkwoods.com. And then you could have it like forward to the new yes. address. Mm-hmm. If you... and, and make that new address one that we can both access so I don't have to forward you every time somebody. I probably still have to do that, though. Yeah, I? just, I don't want to fucking access <laughs> You right. have to tell me that there's an email, because I'm not checking it on a daily yeah. basis, because we get, like, one email every uh, every once in a blue moon. Right. Or yeah. a, a blue corn moon. A... Goof troop. <laughs>